Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another video from me, the scavenger. And we're gonna do a pretty much a little bit of an LB analysis for week six. Now we're going against a guy named Seattle C. Haluches. Yeah, I stumbled on that, didn't I? But yeah, he is also known as on YouTube as Gerhardt. And he's a very, very good player in my opinion. And I've been preparing, preparing for this guy for, I think, two weeks because I didn't think the, the person that uh, was going to replace Kelly uh, was going to be replaced during my week. So I was basically preparing for this guy instead uh, because he has a massive, massive threat for my teams. Like, there's a lot of things going on here that I just I can't deal with. And uh, I used a guy... Uh, a good friend uh, named Friquet on Twitter and YouTube to basically couch me here and uh, you know see what works, what ha what I have to think about, and hopefully we figure something out. Um, he has access to Curum, Heatron, Greninja, the X and Y set, Vapoyon, Staraptor, Hitmontop, Crocodile, Mega Scissor, Celebi, and Ampharos. So there are things I really wanted to do here. But we realized through and through that it's gonna be risky. First of all, Mega Scissor and Heatran Core is super, super potent. It it really is. Uh, I was just about to make a Scarf Magnet Zone on my own uh, with Hidden Power Fire. But the thing is here, if I go with Magnet Pool, then Heatran can lock me in. And if Heatran locks me in, it's no Earth Power. And then naturally, even though I don't have speed, I'm locked in Hidden Power Fire. So even if I get um, Mega Scissor right away, I pay a high price for that, and also I can't freely go for Volt Switches because it has Ampharos, which could have Lightning Rod, and it has a Crocodile, and Crocodile could Pursue Trap. That's also a thing, like, that's annoying, that's that's gonna be tough. And you got the Star Raptor and Hitmontop, both access to Intimidate, and they could stop Stoutland from sweeping. Um, Stoutland actually has issues with this team because he can't Oko the Hitmontop, he can't Oko the Mega Scissor, and he can't Oko Heatran. And I am forced to be banded here because banded return does kill the Vaporeon, and he is going to use Vaporeon. Just by stats alone, he's going to use Vaporeon. Uh, Vaporeon is a great defensive wall, and he can deal with a lot of things on my team. And um, that's something that's going to get rough fast. And um, yeah, that is basically what I'm going to keep in mind. Uh, so the preparations I did uh, was basically, oh god, <laughs> sorry, I'm being a bit sick here in the morning. So the things I prepared for, oh yeah, I'm actually recording this Monday morning because I'm starting off a bit late and I don't know when Gerhard is going to be available for the match. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was like missing Pokemon. Uh, anyway, the things I decided not to bring this match. Basically, I'm not gonna bring Diane due to the Bullet Punch. I am not gonna bring Siglyph due to the Pursuit Trapping, and um, I'm not gonna go for Mega Garchomp because I'm suspecting his Curem to be scarfed. And if it is Scarfed, then, you know, Ice Beam takes care of a lot of my Pokemons. So those three guys gotta go. Uh, Stoutland and Hippowdon is yet again important, actually. Um, because Stoutland, um, like I said, it Oko's Vaporeon. And I know it is his go-to defensive wall. And um, it's not gonna be much of a defensive wall once Stoutland gets his hands on him. And Hippowdon, basically, he can set up Stealth Rock, which is gonna be important to cure him. Because I'm sure he will bring through Curum. I'm so sure of this. And Greninja is also a thing. And I can't naturally have to beat the Greninja. I can't. Um, Greninja has a major advantage this match. Um, because uh, it is faster than all my team. The only time I can outspeed it is with the Stoutland. And the only way he could avoid the Stoutland with Greninja in the sand. If he has access to Shadow Sneak. And if it does so, I'm going to stay in. Uh, I'm basically gonna let the sand take as much damage on that Greninja as possible. Um, that is, I think that's my old idea I have here. But Stoutland Hippowdon is important. I need Chansey, because Chansey can actually deal with Curem in worst case scenario. Uh, not, like, not killing him whatsoever. I mean, he's treated KO'd by Curem. 
Even if it's offensively listed. Not if it's banded, though. I think I'm screwed if it's banded. But um, Chansey can take a lot of punishment. And Chansey can use Thunder Wave really well, like he did in my previous match. And basically, I can't shut down Greninja, Kurim, um, Staraft, if he decides to go with that. And Mega Scissor. Of course, like I said, the Crocodile and Amphro is going to be annoying. Crocodile's Pursuit Trap takes about, I believe, 33% basically. Um, so if I need to switch out. They can't risk the knockoff. Because that. Oh, I'm sorry. Because then the um, Pursuit will do um, closer to 50. And uh, that's, not, that's not a comfortable position I want to be in. I, I have to preserve my Violize, is what I'm trying to say. Um, that's right. Chance is going to be here. Keldeo, and I gotta have a score of Keldeo, I need Keldeo to be Scarfed, uh, because then I can take on a Scarf, cure him, and Oko it, I can take care of an Heatron. Uh, if Greninja isn't Scarfed, it's gonna be, of course, uh, killed by that. And basically, I do major damage to most of his Pokemon with um, with Sacred Sword. He doesn't really have something resistant to finding, does he? Uh, I don't see it. So like I said, Greninja could be a defensive um, mechanism to that. But yeah, I mean, I'm doing natural damage against anything besides Celebi. And Celebi is not really that big of a threat for my team overall, so I'm not really scared of that. Uh, though I'm sure he's going to use it just because of Keldeo. So we got Chansey, Keldeo, um, Stavlind, he powered on. And uh, I got Rick Thunderous. Thunderous could help. Um... Thunderous is close to killing Vaporeon naturally by one hit. Um, and I'm going to go with Hidden Power Flying this time around, basically, because I want something to happen. And I want to be able to switch uh, or switch moves. So uh, I could lure in Celebi with uh, Thunderous, actually. Uh, worst case scenario, is when I wall the Thunderbolt and I can switch up move. Um, I do believe Hidden Power Flying uh, does about 40%, um, so it's not the greatest damage. But I could pressure him with that kind of uh, combination because I don't see him go for a synthesis um, once he figured that out. So Thunder is given. And one more. And I think, to be honest, and this is something I wanted not to use him, but I feel like this is probably my way to go. And that is Scolipede. Superpower Scolipede, actually. Uh, I gotta go for X Sister because X Sister actually Oko's. Like Greninja and Celebi, no matter what, so I don't have to risk the Mega Horn. Uh, and uh, Superpower takes care of Curum after rocks, takes care of Heatron after rocks. Uh, but Porion can take one Exisor, uh, not two. Uh, Star after can outspeed him, I need Protect. Damn, I can't go for Swole Stance, I need Protect. Um, so Star after, I do believe, take around 50%. Hit on top, walls this. Crocodile is now taking a superpower. Mega Sister Wall, Scolipede, Celebi, bye bye, and Ampharos. I don't see him using Ampharos though. If he does, then you know, jokes on me. But Scolipede is basically a late game sweeper. If Sister is gone, then there shouldn't be any real issue for Scolipede to finish off this game. Um, I need to keep him healthy. I need to give him life for them because of. Uh, I can't use Sports Stance. I can't. Uh, because then I can't outspeed the things I need to outspeed first turn off. Because he has fast Pokemon. I mean, Greninja Staraptor could naturally outspeed, and um, that's that's the situation. Like we need to figure something out with that in mind. Uh, but yeah, that was the last video. Should really not record in the morning. I'm really feeling that right now. But um, I don't expect myself to win this match because of the matchups alone. But I have. Like, I have the ideas in case things aren't working out. So, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, things will work out, <laughs> I guess. But, yeah, that will be all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did just that, make sure to leave a like. And uh, when, I when I upload this video, the result is going to be uploaded very shortly. So expect the next video to come up in a few hours. So until then, take care. Bye.